Welcome to my craft table. Hi, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'd like to show you these cards. This is the simple version. Simple stamping. It only uses one ink pad and just basic paper. This is a stepped up version. It uses some um, of the foil paper and some embossing and a piece of ribbon as well. So let's get started. Okay, the first we're going to be using a Gorgeous Grapes stamp pad and a memento for the sentiment just so it stands out a little bit. We're going to be using a well written background stamp. Good morning Magnolia. We're going to use one of the sentiments or two of the sentiments and this flower here. Then for the consumables, oops, excuse me. Card base is um, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. I have a piece of gorgeous grape, which is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I have a piece of Whisper White, which is 4 by 5 and a quarter. I have a piece of Gorgeous Grape, which is 2 by 5 and 3 eighths. And these are 1 and a half inch squares. And this is for the um, basic one. The stepped up version, the only difference is the squares are a tiny bit larger. My first sample I did them one and three quarters and they were a little bit too big so I just downsized them by one eighth and then I have two strips of half inch gold foil paper and I might try to step up, pop up the center one so I have a two inch square of gorgeous grape and that's the only difference. So let's get started. First thing we're going to need to do is stamp this piece with the handwritten and I just leave my stamp in my stamp case. I need a piece of scratch paper, I almost forgot. Okay, grab that. The gorgeous grape ink pad. Ink this up. The only hard part is not getting it on here. It's not really difficult. You just wipe it off when you're washing your stamp. Okay. I'm going to take this piece and I kind of bow it like this. Hover over the thing. Set down the center and let go. And I bring in a piece of scratch paper. And I press all over it so that I get a good coverage everywhere. The only tricky part is picking it back up without it smearing. So I'm going to use my paper piercer. Just pick it up. Well, I've got a little spot in the center there, but that's all right. It'll, it'll uh, be covered up with the sentiment the flower strips anyways. Okay, so there's that piece. Now we're going to bring in these pieces, the little squares. I do have a piece of paper here. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, you can. They're a different color. And I'm going to also use the um, gorgeous grape ink. Come on, open. I'm going to stamp these. One of them, I'm going to stamp the whole image with, uh, I'm stamping this uh, magnolia. I'm going to stamp the whole image on here, so let's stamp that one. And one, I'm going to stamp one side of the magnolia off one corner. The other one, I'm 
going to stamp the other side of the magnolia off the other corner. There's no right or wrong, just pick a spot and stamp it. Okay, then I'm going to take the hello on one of these. I'm going to stamp the hello with the memento. Let's go ahead and close this so I don't get something in it. And I'm going to stamp it right down here at the bottom. strip. You want to figure out how you want to lay these on there. Got them a little bit different this time, but that's all right. You can want them like that. Okay, so now we're going to adhere these using the liquid glue or you can use tape runner, whichever you're more comfortable with. This is the new glue, so it comes out quite fast. And I try, tend to do the top and the bottom one first so that I have an idea how much space I have for the rest of them. I'm going to try to make sure they're straight. If you want to use a like a T-ruler, you can do that to make sure you're getting them straight. I'm going to put this on the edge of your paper. getting it straight, but I don't usually worry about it too much. I just eyeball them. Center one. up between the top and the bottom one. Okay, awesome. Now I'm going to bring in this piece that I already, this piece that we stamped with the uh, background stamp. We're going to adhere it to a, uh, a gorgeous grape layer. Card base. I'm going to mount this to the front of the card. And then I'm going to mount this. Here's our first card for today. It's quite simple, simple stamping. Then I took this stamp for the inside. I don't even think I re-inked it, but I'm going to for this instance. I'm going to re-ink it, stamp off, and I stamped this in the corner. wanted a lighter version. There we go. There's the card. Now let's step it up to the next one. And again, the pieces are the same except there's two pieces that are half inch strips. Well, they're six inches, but they only need to be the five and a half inches um, of the gold foil paper. And these are one sixteenth I did do them three quarters. Okay, let's go ahead and go with it then. One and three quarter inches. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take, except instead of the purple ink, we're going to be using Versamark. Let me bring out my stamp cleaner. Let's stamp the background first because the purple ink is out. 
clean this really well. Put that aside. Okay. So we'll do the background first, like we did on the other one. It's the same exact process. it up. Bring in our layer. Set it down on there. Bring the scratch paper. Rub it all over. get every spot this time since I obviously missed a spot last time. Alright. Pick it up. Perfect. This out of the way. Okay. Now we're going to bring in those little squares. And we're going to stamp the same way we did with the purple, but we're going to use Versamark ink. Get some of this out of the way. And we're going to use gold embossing powder. And I brought in a thing with a coffee filter in it. Pat these with a little bit of embossing buddy powder. So the first one, we're going to stamp the entire image. You're not going to be able to see this because it is a clear, sticky ink. Okay, and then I'll, I'll put it in here and sprinkle the embossing powder over it. any strays just wipe them off okay so that's the one this one I want to do the same way that I did before I want it down on this corner This one is going to be the other corner. Excuse me. I thought I turned that off. Okay, then we're going to stamp the sentiment. Forgot to clean it. One of them. And we're going to do it a slight bit differently this time. I'm going to stamp it on this one with the Versamark or with the. Barely, but you could always put a strip if you needed to. Add the embossing powder. Awesome. Okay, let me put this extra embossing powder away so I don't blow it all over my desk. I usually have two coffee filters, but for some reason I only have the one today. bring in my heat gun. I do recommend you warm it up a little bit. I also have a cutting board that is specifically for this purpose. Um, the cutting board helps to diff 
diffuse the heat so my paper warps a little bit less. Just a trick I learned along the way. So let's warm up the heat tool. And we'll put it on number two setting. Turn shiny. We're gonna move. There it goes. It's starting. Hopefully, you can see it. You want to make sure all the powder is melted. I'm just holding it down with this tool, just because there's little pieces, and I don't want to. It will get hot on your fingers. Before I melt this other one, I want to show you the difference between the melted and the non-melted so you can actually see the difference. See this? Oops, this way. You see how this one's just powdery? This one's melted. It's got the shimmer to it. Okay, so let me do this one real fast. You don't want to over melt it because then it'll lose its shimmer. Oops. What did I get on there? Ink on me somewhere. Is this is a mono eraser. I recommend it if you're doing a lot of this, it, it helps to correct mistakes. Ink from oh well okay let's move this out of the way move this out of the way let's put this card together again it's very easy to do I'm do the same as before we're going to take this piece and adhere it to our purp uh, our purple layer there's an eighth of an inch border. is going to get adhered to the front of this card. Okay, now we're going to take the one with the sentiment on it, we're going to put it on this little square here, just because I'm going to pop this one up instead of having it flat, like I did on the other one. Okay, now we're going to bring in this, and then on the back side we're going to run just a little bit of glue right along the edge here. You don't want too much because you don't want it to ooze out. And we're going to attach these gold foils. However much you want showing. I just find it easier to cut about a half an inch strip than a smaller one. You could use snail too also. to match so they're about the same distance. Okay, then we're going to turn it over. And from the back side, we're going to snip off these, these ends 
so we can do it from the front, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Just put your scissor against the card and snip. Other two. Going to get mounted flat. There's not much of a border, so. Bring in some dimensionals. Oops. Backs off. Center that up here. Okay, then I'm going to take a piece of ribbon, I'm wrap it around, and tie a bow. Or This is the Gold Edge Vanilla Ribbon. This one, I might want to move it up because I put the sentiment here. Yeah, let's put it here this time. adjust it and stick it where you need it with glue dots. Okay, then this is going to get dimensionals on the back of it. Don't be afraid to change your uh, design as you go, depending on how, where you stamp things. A little bit of change is not a bad thing. And then we're going to mount this in the same vicinity, or do we want to put it right in the middle? It's kind of pretty right in the middle. There's our card. There's our two cards for today. Here's the two that we made previous. So they're just a little bit different each one, depending on where you stamp your flowers. Well, thank you so much for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day.